spaceship! I'm Adam, and that's Diesel. He's from the desert, I think. Or at least that's where he was found wandering around by himself. So I adopted him, and now he's a beach dog. It was always my dream to move from England to live in sunny Southern California, and now here I am. My goal is to inspire people just like you to chase your dreams, and most importantly, get out there and find your everyday adventure. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. This intro was supposed to be done somewhere else, but for reasons that I cannot disclose, we had to move from there. And so we are here in this parking lot, but we're about to head off in these bad boys. So these are very briefly electric vehicles. They've got two wheels in the front, they have one in the back. We have this one, which is kind of, this is the FUV. This is the one, the commuter one. This is like your daily car. We have this one, which is pretty snazzy. This is actually a camera vehicle. It has a gimbal on the back. And in fact, say hello to everyone. We are getting some professional follow stuff done. Look at that, beautiful. And then we also have another one coming that's more like a motorcycle. Uh, like I said, this should have all been very zen and easy to put together. It hasn't been, but we're gonna make it work. I've never ridden this before or driven it, whatever you do with these things. Um, don't worry, I promise not park, to kill us. Park and brake. So this is a company called Archimoto, uh, which means, remind me what that means? Lip riding into the future? Yep. Yep, riding into the future. And this is their uh, FUV model. So this is what they intend to be a replacement, I guess, for a commuter vehicle, right? It's skinny, it's one person wide, you can get a lot of these on the road at the same time, and basically, this is gonna be the thing that stops traffic and allows you to have a lot of fun while you're doing it. The range on this thing is about 100 miles in the city, and if you get on it, which I'm sure we will at some point, then you're looking at uh, a little bit less than that. Um, apparently, they will do up to 75 miles an hour, which is honestly terrifying, um, but I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I'm just pretty stoked to uh, get to try this thing out. This is actually the first time I've ridden a tricycle. So one wheel in the back, two in the front. So essentially, it's like an electric glorified wheeled snowmobile. I can't really describe the feeling. It's silent. It's like, kind of like riding a bike. I'll tell you what it feels like. It feels like riding a quad bike. That's how it feels. <laughs> I feel like I'm riding a spaceship. <laughs> the noise and everything, it's just like, Ooh. Wow, Catalina is looking beautiful today. So these guys have been on a two week tour of, have you been all around the US or just on the West Coast? West Coast. West Coast tour. And I actually got a DM on Instagram from a guy called Nick. He was like, hey, do you want to ride these super fun electric three wheel buggy things? I was like, yes. And that was two days ago. And here I am today, ah, getting on to PCH in one of these things. All right, let's see. There we go. Oh, I like it. Well, this is it guys. This is what we've been riffing around in. And they're just brilliant. 
like I said, it's such a surreal experience because you're essentially on like a motorbike, but you're not because you've got those two front wheels. So it sort of feels like you're riding a quad bike. If you've ever ridden a, a quad bike before, you'll know that sort of feeling that I mean where you're turning a handlebar, but you have two front wheels. Um, it's very open, obviously, because the air just blows straight through it. But then you've got the windscreen keeping you nice and covered up. So yeah, it's just a totally unique experience and honestly so much fun like i said this kind of thing would be epic for discovering like a new city like, i can imagine these things whizzing around san francisco I'm not sure i'd want to do los angeles on them but somewhere like this or somewhere where you've got some beautiful views like they're just great fun and then we've got the fuv cameo behind us that's the one like you probably saw in the video where they've got the little camera on the back to get the the follow shots and the chase shots it's just it's it's so much fun also, can we just take a minute to acknowledge how damn beautiful it is here today? And actually, tomorrow morning, I'm getting up super early and I'm riding my Sea-Doo from Newport all the way across there to Catalina. I'm waiting for the bike. So there, like I said, there's a motorcycle version as well. The, is it the Roadster or the Sportster? Roadster. The Roadster, which is completely open. So it's the same chassis, but it is completely open. Now, let me just show you around this thing in a bit more detail. So obviously driver's seat, handlebars, heads up display. You've got speakers in here as well. We've got a cup holder in the middle. There's your foot brake. So that's when you come to a stop. And then this is that regen brake that I was talking about. And then you've got basically one seat up front, secondary seat here. And then in the back, you've got this really quite spacious cubby where you can put groceries or whatever you want. My helmet's in there for riding this roadster. Um, and then yeah, back here you've just got this single wheel with a single-sided swing arm. So that is where your suspension is. So a very nifty little gadget. And then this is the Cameo. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, this is what they're running right now is just this cool little gimbal arm. Seat facing backwards, little tray to sit in. It's perfect. love living here guys come on. it seems to be every time i come to this spot because it's just so lush and this bay is so gorgeous and the weather right now is so nice i just get this like overwhelming sense of like satisfaction gratitude motivation like this being here makes me a better person and that is such an amazing feeling it's just look at this place it's gorgeous it is gorgeous and i'm so grateful for these opportunities like i said nick just sent me a message on instagram was like hey bud you want to drive these things i was like 100 percent. there's nothing i'd rather do with my friday afternoon than be whizzing around in some like fun little electric go-kart so uh, nick thank you so much for inviting me along it's been great we're waiting on a few others to show up right now and then we're gonna whiz back up pch and uh, go see what they're like but yeah this is just so much fun guys i hope you're enjoying this as much as i am they just all showed up there's six more of them right here six yep. <laughs> Okay, so we weren't sure if we were going to be able to get many more. They're like, ah, we might not even be able to get the Roadster. And then six show up. <laughs> Wait, they have a dog. Okay, this whole shoot just got infinitely better because you have a dog. It's a sidecar. What is it? Ah. Mark and Moro. Hi. Hi. Kira Doge. Hi. Have you been having a nice time? I couldn't care less about these anymore, guys. I'm here. I'm all about the puppies. Hi. Dude, this is awesome. How you doing? Having fun yet? Adam. Hey, Adam. Nice Mark. to meet you. Likewise. Bye this guys. one I saw earlier. This one is great because they even put brand colored stripes on it for me. And then we have this one. So this is like the one that I was just riding. Hey, how you doing? Hey. What's up? Hi. And then, oh, okay. So this one, remind me what this one's called. So this is our deliverator. This is uh, meant for uh, basically uh, last mile deliveries such as Amazon packages okay. and Uber Eats or things like that. Killer. So it replaces the whole back seat with this big old luggage compartment. Exactly, exactly. And this whole outside gives you a whole billboard space. So you can Ooh. put your whole logo here or anything else you want to promote basically. That's killer. I love yeah. it. Hi. Hi. I know. It's so exciting, isn't it? It's like a toy. All right. So plan is we are going to take all of them and we're going to go just mob through Laguna Beach 
on these crazy things, uh, which should be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, just kind of have a good time with it. I'm gonna be on the Roadster, so that is the motorcycle one. So I don't know if I'll be able to talk to you guys while I'm doing it, I'll try my best, but uh, if not, then you'll get some pretty epic B-roll shots given that we have an actual Cameo camera car FUV what do you call these? Is it a car? Is it a... It's an auto cycle. An auto cycle. <laughs> okay. Mm, auto cycle. Alright, so I'm not sure how much you guys are going to be able to hear me right now, but we're going to go Mob Laguna Beach on these auto cycles. Alright, and we're off. Da -da 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 -da! It's like a procession of futuristic tuk-tuks. Wow, what a blast. It is a completely different experience, even though it's fundamentally the same chassis, not having that roof and that roll cage really just opens everything up and it feels, like I say, more like a motorcycle. Um, uh, again, I keep coming back to that kind of like uh, ATV, like quad bike feel through the handlebars. Feels very planted in the front. Um, motors are super torquey gets up to speed really nice and then feels very stable once you go in uh, the regen brakes really fun uh, just absolutely awesome vehicles so if you ever get an opportunity to get in one of these things where can people drive these or ride yeah, them rentals open in san diego san francisco we just opened rentals in uh in uh santa monica oh okay we've got rentals up in key west soon oh, in or we're, we're actually uh on the tour where this is the ride of the Arcanauts. Okay. So we're actually going city by city, state by state, all around the country. If you sign up at arcamoto.com slash ride, uh, we will let you know when you, you're when we're in your neighborhood. Dude, that's killer. Yeah, there you go, guys. So you can 100% get a rip around in we're, these we're, things. We're bringing the ride to you. <laughs> they are so much fun. I know for a fact the security guard is jealous that he's only in a lowly golf cart and not ripping around on one of these things. Um, so yeah, check them out. I'll put all of the information in the description so you can get all that info and uh, yeah, you can get yourself a go in one of these. This thing is brilliant. I love the, the airbrushing on this one. This is I, very I, snazzy. I asked for uh, Iron Man meets the Flash. Uh -huh. I think they nailed it. I think they did too. Yeah, yeah. And you were the absolute star of the show. 100%. Yeah, I know you want that microphone. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. Very unexpected. Didn't think that this is what I'd be doing on Friday afternoon, but I am so glad that I got the opportunity. Um, so, yeah, guys, thank you so much for uh, letting me ride and for bringing the whole horse and pony show out here. This is, I mean, this is unbelievable. Look at this. This is crazy. Exactly. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, look, thank you so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. So I'd love to see you here again. Give this video a big thumbs up. Go and check out these guys. I'll put all of their information in the description below. And uh, yeah, I guess until next time, remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do. See ya.